Okay, I've been doing some testing in Arcade Empire with the customers and how much customers you can have in total. Um, and honestly, from doing this testing, I don't. There's a couple of things I don't recommend. I, I don't think I recommend having a lot of customers and having a lot of machines. So it's very weird. But right now in our, in our arcade, we have 500 games. It's the best place to check your current stats. They could pretty much check the ratio between games and customers. It's not a one-to-one -one ratio. If you put down 500 games, you're not going to get 100 customers, obviously. It's more of a diminishing returns. The more games you put, uh, it will go up. But at a certain point, it will stop and you won't get that much. Now, before you say that you'll get more customers than I get, let's say right now for 500 customers, which is obviously way higher than you're supposed to do, um, get about around uh, 170 customers. Now, before you say, oh, I can get more customers than that, uh, just remember that when you're using arcade machines like Sword Fight or uh, the hockey game or whatever, um, each customer, when you when they spawn two customers in for one game, it'll still count as two customers, basically. So you you'll get more, obviously, but it's you're not gonna make as much if you're using single arcade machines, as each arcade machine will generate money. But while you get two customers per, you're wasting customer slots um, on that machine, as it could have been used for two machines instead of one machine. So. That's the reason why uh, double arcade machines, like for example, I just go, I just go over here. So Sword Fight, as you can see, Sword Fight costs five per play. This is seven per play. It's three per play. But when you go here, this costs eighteen per play. But this only costs twelve per play, just because this takes two customers and it, it takes two areas or two slots, two two spaces in the arcade. So it costs more to play, but you get less space in your arcade also takes two customers instead of one customer but you have these two you have it takes up one space so you buy two of these um and you'll make more money because you're using up two customer slots for two machines while you're using two customer slots for one machine you'll make less money unless i'm wrong about that that's how i see it uh pretty much with that oh he's got he's got nerfed dog fighter is here now basketball game is here now interesting he must have got scammed i guess i didn't even notice that updated all right um so yeah that's with that let's go back to our stats here you see now we have 180 customers out of 500 uh, and 900 why well, not 200 customers around there depends on uh, where their place of course it depends it's really it only counts the customers are in the arcade not when they're using the machine so if they're leaving the arcade it still counts them as in there but once they leave it, they take them out of course so it's about the amount we can get 200 out of 500 right now um this allows you to get your customer stat to go up obviously it depends on what machines you're using right now for testing purposes i am using the maze machine as that is the easiest machine to buy and the cheapest without spending too much money right now here's the biggest issue why i don't recommend doing this as depending on your machine of course uh i i, don't, I still don't think it matters anyways but uh with obviously the maze machine uh there is not a lot of storage it can't keep up it can only store seven dollars in the machine now once you play this game for a long time one server you'll see that you'll have these you know machines that are filled up you need to have a worker or yourself which will take a long time to walk around uh we'll have to pick up the money and use it but once the machine when the machine is full a customer cannot use that machine so with that being said if you play the game for a long time your workers unless it gets updated i don't know it'd be better but your workers what you have when you level up, you get more slots here. The uh, money or these workers here, uh, they will pick up any cash in any machine, basically, even if it's not full. But when it, when there are machines that are full, they will prioritize uh, that machine. And so when you have 500 uh, arcade machines, uh, you're actually going to be uh, backlogged or at capacity for the machines, and you're not going to make any money at all because you're lose, you get less customers, but the machines will be filled and your workers have to run, run around and get full. And it, it, it obviously will add up and then you're gonna get less and less and less because there's less machines that are available to play. And then you'll be at max capacity eventually just because of um, your workers will be on their, ma their max amount they could do. And then they'll just be stuck in an infinite loop and you'll just be, all right, this is how much I can get in 
this is when you learn the real number of how much machines you should put in your thing. So we can actually start removing floors here um, to show you guys um, what, what what's a good amount of number you can do. So I'm gonna clear some of these floors here. Um, so let's see here, just clear, let's get up to 300, I guess. So we're at, now we're at 200 now, Never mind. Uh, 200 uh, floors, or 200 games. And you can see pretty much, I'll go down quite a bit. Actually, let me rejoin the game because all these are full and it's not gonna do much here. Okay, join a new server. So all the machines that don't have money in it. So we have active 200 uh, arcade machines to be used. So here you can see how much 200 can give you in total. Um, I at the beginning, it's a one-to-one -one ratio based off machine and customers. Eventually, it starts to diminish. At about 100 to 200, you won't get 200 customers, but you'll probably get around 100, about 100 to 110 to 120 um, in total. But it depends on your workers and how they can keep up. I recommend just having about like 70-ish machines. You'll get 70 all the time, and your workers are, can, can keep up with having the machines be filled up maybe a little bit less than that i don't think you don't need that much it depends on how expensive the customer how expensive the machines are obviously you don't if you go too if you buy too much you're not gonna make that you're not gonna make that much money you need to have a very small surplus of machines in order to keep up a good uh economy i guess you could say so here we're at 140 at 200 so you can get a lot but it depends on how depends on the machines if their machines are um single singles and then also of course, if they are pretty much big, high capacity in the uh, how much money they can hold per per play and stuff, then yeah, it, you can last a while. And you can have, you just want to make sure you want to make an arcade that has a lot of ways to cycle itself by having not full machines. We have too much machines. You're not gonna. It's not the workers are not gonna keep up, right? So here we have 160 out of 200. So that's pretty good. You can see how we had 500 machines and you couldn't even reach 500 or even 400. The max seems to be 200 by 200, um, but it's not going to reach 200, I'm pretty sure. Um, as there's not, if it, you need to have a little bit more than 200 to equal 200, just because then it'll, 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 it adds, it, it, it probably tries to spawn, but it, it's not going to be enough. It takes a bit of time for customers to come in and customers to leave at the same time. So it's about 170 you can get at 200. So that's, that's the magic number 200. You can get at least the max capacity, which is around 170, pretty much. Now, like I said, what I recommend to do, this is the last part of the video here. What, my, my, what I've been doing, well, I've been using 60 of these rainbow table games and been using ball rules. But now, if I'm lucky and I did some re did some grinding and some looking around here. Let me, see, let me go pick up these uh, maze machines real quick. So they're on uh, floor three, I think. And floor two. Let's take a look. They have zero machines now. All the customers are in here now, all angry. I probably recommend doing this, just doing something small. Once you have good machines, obviously, if you want customers, and it's not gonna, you're not gonna get a lot of customers for doing this. But here, if you want to get money, just get some very high level or good machines that you can buy. Pretty much. I can't. There we go. And you want to put it near the door here. Because the door is where they spawn. And the customers will get there uh, very quickly, of course. There we go. And you see here, this is the reason why Oops, we put them close to the door. So customers can come in and just put them right away. And you'll see a very a stream of money on the bottom left. It will be always be gained. So before, your workers would always priority of uh, machines that are filled up with uh cash and that would be the time to pick it up but now since there's less machines and we have a lot of workers since we're level 27 we have one two three four five six uh money collectors and we have 12 machines right now you can see that we have a thing we have about eight customers and customers we're not gonna get, get a lot at the same time but this is what it is for cash basically um and they will pick up they'll pick up any cash at any time because they don't there's no there's no machines that are uh, filled so this is where you can get a stream of money at a constant rate instead of just be waiting 
for them to wait for uh, it when a machine is filled up to the, to the brim. I mean, they might pick up, even though they have to, even though there might be not a machine that's filled up to the brim of coins, but uh, this is a safe bet if you just want a, a constant stream of money. Of course, once you get more machines that are more expensive, then you just replace the ones that you have already and repeat and rinse and repeat and rinse pretty much. Now, it could be better setups here and there, but like this is pretty good, but not good for customers, but good good for uh, for cash <laughs> at a constant rate basically so up to you what you want you can still get a we can still make a full room if you want to like for example I'm gonna do this as well I'll add my customers we can have rainbow tables here game tables all right and just put them in wherever I can put them this will spread out the customers also spread my workers I think just having one floor is pretty good but sometimes there will be less uh, walking pretty much um, for uh, your workers because your workers are very important that's your main way of earning money if you don't want to pick up money yourself so honestly I recommend just you know keep it keep, keep it small and then if you really want to make a arcade then you won't save lots of money then you can do it but right now in the beginning of these games you really just want to make money right so right now that's pretty much how it goes. Now we have how many machines? We have 48 machines, but like I said, when you have machines that have two plus, you're gonna have a little bit more customers than machines, uh, pretty much. Cause that's how it works. So if you want more stat, if you want to use less machines, but get more customers and use, cu and use machines that give you more customers per machine, they take up more space, but they will add more to the counter. So that's how that works, right? Pretty much. So you could do this as well. One floor with machines will give you probably a lot more money for sure. You would think that more flo floors will give you more customers. Technically, yes, but no, it doesn't do that, sadly. <laughs> it just depends on how much machines are in the game. So there you go. A little bit long video, but hopefully, you know, you enjoy that exp some explanation there. They might change it. Who knows? It's version... Uh, what version are we in? We're in version 1.008, so it's pretty early on still. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it goes with this game, pretty much. So yeah, we're making cash, but uh, customer-wise, a little bit less than normal. But about 50-ish, about 48 machines, but 50, so it's not that bad, honestly. And it's, it just lets you, just lets you, last thing, it just lets you budget your 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 money. Don't don't go for multiple floors. Honestly, one floor is pretty good. Um, and just fill it up with machines, rainbow machines, and you'll make enough money back. So, uh, money, more money, more often. So, don't waste your time if you want to make multiple floors. It doesn't make a difference at all. So, uh, yep, there you go. With that.